one thing I love about the Book of Mormon is that it explains a little bit of how Christ works and how grace works. Because a lot of people, they have an issue with Christianity because they think the way it works is you say, I believe in Jesus Christ, and then you can do whatever you want. In the Book of Mormon, one of the, uh, one of the prophets threw down on that. And he later on is quoted and it says, And remember the words which Amulek spake unto Zezerazim in the city of Ammonihah, for he said unto him, The Lord surely should come to redeem his people, but that he should not come to redeem them in their sins, but to redeem them from their sins. And he hath power given unto him from the Father to redeem them from their sins because of repentance. Therefore he hath sent his angels to declare the tidings and conditions of repentance, which bringeth unto the power of the Redeemer unto the salvation of their souls. And I love that because it explains it. It explains that because of repentance, the Heavenly Father has given Jesus Christ power to have his grace to save our souls. And I just love that verse. I love sharing that verse. And it gives me hope because it says that the conditions are declared. And how are they declared? They're declared in his word. And I've, when I read the Book of Mormon, I can see those conditions of repentance, of believing in Jesus Christ, confessing your sins to him, proclaiming him to be your savior, and moving on and trying to become a better person. And it's amazing to know that those are the conditions of repentance, to confess, to forsake, and then to try to do better. Every time she would, you know, grab the Book of Mormon and open it and begin to read in this book, or even just to hold it, she just felt this joy and this light, and this smile came across her face. And